Normally their duty is to protect. Today in Paris it was to protest against a system they believe is making their jobs harder and potentially putting them and their country at risk. One policeman who chose not to give his name explained why this march of anger had to happen. Our equipment is not adapted to our needs anymore, nor are the working conditions in many of our police stations. Put that all together and throw in the fact that the penal system is not tough enough and we feel we can no longer assure our own security, let alone that of our fellow citizens. The protests here are part of a pattern that has seen officers across France take to the streets recently. The venue that these police officers have chosen for their protest is symbolically important. Place de la République, close to the Bataclan nightclub and to the Petit Cambodge restaurant where the attacks took place in 2015. Those attacks were part of a spate of incidents over the past two years. In January 2015, the gunmen who carried out the Charlie Hebdo killings murdered policeman Ahmed Merabet as they fled the magazine's offices. The following day, one of their accomplices murdered policewoman Clarissa Jean-Philippe in the Mont Rouge district of Paris. The Bataclan attacks were on a larger scale, with far greater loss of civilian life, and which demanded a massive nationwide police effort. A state of emergency has been enforced since then. The tipping point for many of the protesters was the attack on a police unit in viry châtillon earlier this month, in which one officer was seriously injured. Trades union leaders who represent rank-and-file police officers say the government must act now. We expect a strong and rapid response, some firm commitments and especially something material that we can all see. It's clear that there must also be a discussion on the relationship between the police and the justice system and particularly with the weapons training our colleagues receive. President François Hollande says the government supports the police and is trying to ensure officers have all they need to do their jobs. He says several thousand new officers have been recruited to plug the gaps. Many of the existing rank and file seem unpersuaded. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Paris.